Recorded. <laughs> I had to sleep. I slept like a baby. What's on tap for today? Unfortunately, not cold beer. But what time is it? Six forty-five, I think. So I think everyone's up already. Yeah, they, I was up about forty-five minutes ago. The coffee was already been made. People were getting ready to get their day going. Uh, day shift changed over. So the the night person is probably out sleeping. Time for a shower, I guess. Yes. second day we decided to prepare chili and rice for the evening meal. This meant that we could actually prepare this in the morning and leave it in the crock pot during the day. It also gave us a chance to get uh, to know our way around the kitchen a little bit better. <laughs> So what we got outside right now, Ken? Yeah, the wind's blowing pretty good. And the temperature's uh, around 50 or so. And the wind's almost down to 45. I think, I haven't checked it, but it's, uh, you can hear it. It's foggy, but it's clearing bits and pieces. So maybe we'll get some good views. That's good. Through, um, the observatory window earlier. And it looked good, but I just checked it out just now. And it's foggy back in, so. The observer said we're going in and out. Let's go see what we can see. Nice wool. Wool's important. Cotton, no. Wool, yes. Because if this gets wet, you stay warm. Cotton just sucks the heat right out of you. You know, it's remarkable how quiet it is in the tower here. Yeah. And as soon as you crack open that door. Ready? Oh, I'm managing myself here. All right, here we go.
Hey Ken, what are we up to? We're making chocolate chip cookies and so far they're cool lots of them. Awesome. They were really happy when they were delivered. Fresh troll house cookies. So what's the secret? A little bit of TLC and some high altitude adjustment. So oh let's see if I've got myself. So we looked on the inside of the cupboard and went to adjust the recipe for high altitude. And then Ryan actually pointed out that most recipes that are on the back of packets have a high altitude version that's online. So we went online and sure enough, on the, in this case, Nestle Toll House website, there was a high altitude recipe. And quite frankly, it's foolproof. So we've, uh, we've been making some awesome cookies and uh, they're a big hit. Tastes just like the ones at Sea Level. Exactly. And if Ken and I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. And we didn't burn down the building and the smoke. That's right. Win. Hey Ken, over here. So where are we? We're at the top of the turret. Now you're supposed to say we're on top of the world. No, but <laughs> so we come up to the top of the turret. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, but um, the winds are gusting again, still about 45, 50 miles an hour. As you can see, though, it's cleared. Uh, it's cleared up pretty well. It's a little bit chilly. I'm probably shaking a little bit. I only threw my fleece on, so. See, we've got some people coming out, checking out the deck and the views. Making the most of the wind. We'll just give you a little 360 view here. around the corner here it's going to get windy. This is uh, obviously where we were earlier actual summit sign. It's a tip top house. Okay, so one of the one of the things that I discussed in my introduction video was uh, the number of different ways that people can actually ascend Mount Washington. Obviously we covered hikers. Uh, the other way that I mentioned was the Cobb Railroad. Now that the uh, summit has cleared a bit and we've actually got less fog up here, we've got a lot more visibility, I can actually show you a little bit more about the Cobb Railroad. So here, uh, at the summit, we've got the Sherman Adams building right behind us here. The observatory is just in the distance. Here we actually have two of the cogs up here right now. Uh, here. And then we've got another one over here. So these, uh, these two cogs are about to depart. Uh, we've actually got passengers loading up. And uh, as you can see on a day like this, uh, it's certainly the cog railroad gets, gets a lot of use.
ice cream. We just made some chocolate chip cookies from scratch. So this will be um, to go with that tonight for dessert. Awesome. So here's a recipe for Ruth's famous ice cream. So I, I don't know who Ruth is, but apparently it's somebody who's been here. In this recipe, they call for two cups of heavy cream, one cup of milk, one half cup of sugar, two to two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. So directions are to blend the ingredients in the blender for 30 seconds. Put together the ice cream maker with the inner bowl from the freezer. Okay, I know what that is. Turn on and pour in the ice cream mixture. Just turn it for 20 minutes until the mix clearly scrapes away from the sides of the bowl and holds together. Take the ice cream maker and put it in Tupperware. Or remove the ice cream from the maker, put it in Tupperware and put it in the freezer. In one to two hours, remove from freezer and work with the fork a little bit, then return to freezer. Remove from freezer 30 minutes before serving. So it looks like... Okay. Yeah, you think it's going to be too soft? No, I think because we'll probably have that about 7.30, 8 o'clock. What's oh. the time now? 6 o'clock. Let's do it. Okay. It's the second night. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my pulse ox right now to 93. It was 94 earlier. My pulse has come down to 78. But it's down. Um, we have a little break of that. 94. No, this is what happened. The 1995 got me off, so. Oh, 96, 95, so I'm probably around 95. Um, and that, you know, your body starts to make some adjustments to your altitude, so I probably have more red blood cells. I did a lot of feeding in, but that's something that happens. Concentrate your blood some more, your blood becomes thicker at altitude. This, this is an extreme altitude. If you were at 10,000 feet of sea level, it would be much more than that, but you just do things. So my pulse has my pulse has dropped a little bit than it was before. Mm -hmm. We we actually did this a few minutes ago, and uh, my pulse is going about eighty. Usually my resting heart rate is about sixty eight, which is what it was down the bottom the other day. And we checked it earlier, like about half an hour ago, and it was eighty eight. And right now it's eighty. And uh, I have a Oxygen reading of 95 actually, which is coming back up. That's good, yeah. That's almost perfect. Anyway, how was your day, Tim? It was good. We uh, got from you know, reasonable time, you know, starting in 7 15. And most people were already up, right? Oh, yeah. And yeah. One of, yeah. yeah. I was up at 6 just to make sure the coffee was okay. Yeah. And people were up to do showers. Yeah. So I just, you know, stay out of their way, let the staff do, do their thing, and then after. They had their breakfast, then I got up and just started checking around. So, for um, lunch, people had leftover brisket, uh, sandwiches, some lunch meat. Everyone was kind of ready to help themselves, weren't they? Yeah, it was good to be all out. We just tidied up after to make their lives easier, so they had more time for lunch. And they realized at 2 o'clock we hadn't had lunch. Yeah. Um, today seemed like it was a much easier day for us. We're starting to settle into the groove now. and We get to go out and enjoy the weather a bit, which mm -hmm. some of the, the videos that we put out show. The, in terms of what we cooked today, so um, as you saw, we did a chili, which I think was awesome. It was good, yeah. The rice, mm -hmm. rice wasn't great. Rice wasn't great, but it yeah, was We forgot to rinse the dried, large grains of rice before we uh, cooked it up, and it was really starchy. But Still good. Yeah. And then we actually, we're obviously getting pretty daring with the cooking because um, as we got everything together and we were happy that everything was looking okay, we thought that was better. And Ken had been reading the uh, the cookbook that got uh, no, no, the, this was in the um, the volunteer yeah, cookbook. Right? The, no, it's a volunteer manual. Right. And anyway, there's a recipe for ice cream in there, and there's an ice cream maker. So we said, hey, let's try it. So we made ice cream, yeah. and most of most of the guys and most of the the, the peeps uh, ate it and enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it. Ken wasn't so fond. Well, of it. yeah, the reason I wasn't so fond of it is because it reminded me of like a Caravelle ice cream cake, and I'm I'm used to you know the the packaged stuff that you buy in stores. I don't ever make ice cream. I've never made it in my life. But it was fun. No, yeah, it was it was good too. It was solid. It was it was sweet. It was tasty. But it was the best bit was it was spontaneous. Yeah, and it worked good. Yeah. Um, so the sweetest follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow's 
Well, anything else on today? Um, it was good weather. We yeah. actually roamed about a bit, enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, and what was really interesting was that we went out and we got to meet some interesting people that were hiking through. I, I saw this couple and I asked them, what time did you start? Oh no, no, I said, when did you start? And he said, March 23rd, meaning he started hiking the Appalachian Trail in March. And this is August right now, it's the end of August. And he finally is up here in the presidential range. Uh, probably has two more weeks to go to get to the end of the Appalachian Trail, which is in Maine, Mount Katahdin. And, um, by that time, the thickness of these people must be absolutely amazing. And clearly set up, isn't it? Oh, clearly, yeah, clearly. But it was, it was a good chance that you cleared up today. I managed to get some good photos. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, I think, is going to be a good day as well. Tomorrow, we've actually got um, a number of visitors. Uh, we had a Congresswoman, Carol Congresswoman come in. coming up with some, uh, some guests. So we have to, normally we don't have to prepare lunch because the employees take care of that themselves. Um, but tomorrow we need to prepare lunch. It's really not going to be hard. It's going to be like yesterday, uh, the first the first day, with the changeover, um, where really we just kind of prepare like a sandwich, um, meat platter and things. The only difference is that uh, they're going to be doing a presentation at the same time, so we actually have to do that. And, take it upstairs, but to be honest, it's really not going to be a big deal. Um, One of the things we did today is we made some cookies for dessert to go with the ice cream, and we made a double Well, actually, we made, the, we made the ice cream to go with the cookies. Well, correct. But the good news is we made these cookies, yeah. so there's actually going to be a bunch of them for tomorrow as well, which is good. Yeah. And then um, I think that you know, come tomorrow we'll be in the routine of things, and we can start you know, looking to see, doing a little bit more exploring in the free time. We're talking about maybe taking a hike down to the uh, Lake of the Cow. Yeah. So we have to check the weather and, and you know, obviously discuss it with the with Yeah, the that's team. down at the little saddle that goes over to uh, Monroe. So yeah, we're thinking about maybe doing that. We don't want to go too crazy, but we want to do something while we're up here. The other, um, the other thing is, um, we, oh, we went up the tower. So we, we spent a lot of time up the tower today. Um, so we went up there and wanted to try and do a time lapse uh, tomorrow. So sunrise is actually at 6 a.m., which is also shift change. So uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get up at uh, 5.30, maybe uh, 5.40, um, and get ready to go up and, uh, and set up a GoPro on the tower uh, to do a, a time-lapse video. And then also we'll get to see sunrise tomorrow, which will be cool. So we're kind of thinking about doing that, and obviously we'll find out tomorrow if we do that or not. Uh, dinner tomorrow night, we're planning, what are we planning? Uh, pasta. Oh, we're planning um, some yeah. Italian sausage. We're some Italian sausage and making a, a sauce. Mm -hmm. And we'll find some leftovers we can put in the sauce and some corn leftovers. Yeah, corn that's the one thing is that I think with each meal there's obviously a very small amount of leftover, it's nothing too bad. But um, it's kind of accumulating in the fridge, so every everything you put in the fridge that's left over, you have to put a piece of... Um, Masking tape on and write in the sharpie the date. So I think that tomorrow we'll have to go through and see if we can do anything with leftovers as well. Um, yeah, other than that, I think anything we learned today? Mm. I'm not sure. Oh, we learned that they really like chocolate chip cookies. Warm chocolate, Warm chip, cookies. chocolate chip cookies. And the chili. I think there's a big deal. Yeah. I think they really like the chili. Because it's the kind of food that they're used to, and I think it was a good chili. Mm. Solid. It was solid. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, great. If this is the first video, this is the day two video. Um, if you if this is the first video you've seen, go check out the previous videos that I've got on the channel. I've got a, a day one video yesterday, which is quite a long one. And when we put it together, there was just so much footage that we ended up shooting yesterday because it's obviously quite a difficult, complex day. There's so many different moving parts on the uh, on the shift change day. So it's quite a long video, but hopefully there's some good stuff in there for those of you that are interested. And there's a, also two previous videos. There's a day zero video and an introduction. So you know, go check those out. And if you want to get notifications for the other videos that I post or that we post over the next week, be sure to subscribe to the channel and you know, please give me a thumbs up on this one if you think it's okay. And uh, if you have any questions, 
that you want us to ask and the things you want us to do explore. And uh, add some comments uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Other than that, good night. See you tomorrow. Peace out.